I've returned, everyone. Sorry to have worried you all. Man, it's good to see you. It's been a whole month, you know? I was getting nervous. Me too. I was afraid I wouldn't see you again. I'm just a machine. I can always be rebuilt, even if I'm completely destroyed. My programming data would still exist. Come on, don't talk about yourself like that. I was told she'd need another week for a complete recovery, but I had the work expedited. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. Mitsuru-san visited me while I was at the lab. I heard what happened. You've all been through so much. Have you been well? Well, given the circumstances, I'd assume not. Really? That's a relief to hear. Ten years ago, I... What I did to you was... <sighs> but... If I hadn't done what I did to you, you wouldn't be suffering like this. As for what Ryoji-kun said, have you already made your decision? I have a favor to ask. Tomorrow, when Ryoji-kun comes back, Please, kill him. I can't bear to see you all suffer like this. If you're in this much pain, I beg you, choose to surrender your memories. Even if... Even if it means forgetting everything and everyone. I guess what are you talking about? Yeah, seriously. This is not like you. What is it, I guess? Why? Why did I come back here? My duty is to protect people from shadows. But now, it's clear that I can't defeat them. What am I even doing here? No matter how hard I try, I can't even shed a tear for you. I guess. Why do you try to fight when you know it's hopeless? Why risk everything when it will only lead to suffering? You're all just throwing away your lives! I don't understand. We're not throwing away our lives. In fact, our eyes are set on the future. Isn't that right? Right. I don't understand. Perhaps it's because I lack a life of my own. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with having a life. I'm a machine created to protect humans from shadows. But I can't carry out that duty with the power I have. So what is my purpose now? I just... don't know. And no one can give me an answer. Well, yeah. You don't have the answers. The meaning of life or death isn't something someone else can just teach you. Making your own decisions is hard, no matter who you are. No choice is perfect, you know? But as long as we're alive, we gotta do something. When you see someone going through the same thing you're going through, you just wanna help them. That's how we plan on getting through this. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the best explanation, but that's the idea. That's... the idea? When I saw you collapse, I realized something. I want to protect you, I guess. I don't want to forget about you. Fuka-san. There are times when you'll lose sight of your purpose and you'll have to search for it. But if you can't find it again, then what you need is to seek out a new purpose. I'm not really one to talk, but I feel like I've learned something important this year. To truly live is to be willing to change. And we have to make those choices for ourselves. Do you think I'll be able to change too? You have changed so much. Haven't you noticed? You've even started speaking like a real human. I understand what my purpose is now. I'm a machine with the directive to live. And the one issuing this new command 
is me. I'll stare fear in the face and choose to live. This is the promise I've made to myself. I'm not sure how I'll do it, but perhaps that's a part of living too. Yeah, it sure is. Allow me to join you in this fight? You kidding? Of course! You've always been one of us. Thank you. From now on, I stand with all of you, no matter what happens. Hey, it's been a while. Midnight's just around the corner. When it hits, I'll lose this form. And I won't be me anymore. So, have you made a decision? Then, I'll be waiting in his room until midnight. 
Come see me when you have your answer. Ryoji-kun. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let the fact that you have to kill me influence your decision. Like I said, I'm gonna disappear either way. I don't have any hang-ups about dying, so you don't need to worry about me. <laughs> All right. I'll be waiting. Have you made your decision? I see. Have the rest of you decided? No need to ask me. You know how I feel. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't on board. I'm with the rest of you. I'm on board too. I've made my decision as well. Sounds like we're all on the same page. Better let him know then, okay? Hey, it's been a long time since we talked like this in your room. Though back then, I had a different form and a different name. It seems like you all decided to let me live. You're all going to risk your lives on a battle you can't win. But they're not the ones here right now. You are. I'll say this one more time. If you kill me, Tartarus, the Dark Hour, and the memories of your battles will all disappear. Tomorrow, you'll wake up as a normal high school student. You'll be able to live in peace until the moment of the fall. But if you let me live, You'll spend every waking moment until that day dreading your inevitable death. Nyx can't be defeated. It's pointless to fight her. Are you still thinking, or have you already made up your mind? Isn't able to change your mind. There's still some time until midnight. I didn't want to have to show you this, but I have no choice. Do you see? I am not human. I will bring death to this world until I am finally satiated. There is no need to hesitate over killing me. Now, consider this very carefully. Is confronting Nyx really what everyone wants? Some things in this world cannot be changed. That's something you can't comprehend. Memories are not set in stone. Old ones can be replaced with new ones, creating a new reality. Don't you think you should put a stop to everyone's pain and suffering? It's up to you. Only you can make this decision. Now, this is your last chance. Tell me your answer. Please kill me. More than anything, I don't want to see you suffer. After all, you're someone very special to me. I understand. As sad as I am to hear it, it's your life. You're free to do what you want with it. I'll respect your decision. Let's get back to the others. I need to tell you guys how to confront Nyx. 
Somehow, I knew that's what you'd choose. I know you better than anyone, after all. I have this feeling like I always wanted to see you again. That's why I came back to you as Ryoji Mochizuki. Maybe there really is some power out there that can do the impossible. And if there is, I know you all have it. Oh, right. Here. I want you to have this. I know this isn't exactly the best timing, but I never thought I'd feel this way. Whenever you play this music box, I hope that you remember me. Come on, let's go. Everyone's waiting. Yo, what's up, Ryoji? It's a painful decision, but it's yours to make. That's right. But it's impossible to defeat Nyx. We'll go as far as we can. We have to try. <laughs> You're the only one saying it's impossible. Personally, I don't care if it is. All right, then. It's almost midnight. So I'll make this short. I should tell you where to find Nyx. She's at the very top of Tartarus. On the promised day, you have to make your way to the top of the tower. On the promised day? It's exactly one month from tomorrow, January 31st, 2010. On that day, Nyx will descend to Tartarus. And that's when the world will end. One month? Tartarus is a gigantic rift in the night sky. It acts as a beacon to guide Nyx. With the Apprisor's arrival, Nyx learns that the way has been prepared, and she begins her descent. And with her, she brings the Demise. That explains why it's called the Tower of Demise. So what you're saying is, we can fight Nyx if we reach the top? That's right. But remember, after today, You'll be fighting against eternal despair. I've said it before, but Nyx can't be defeated. When you come face to face with her, you'll finally understand why. And then, you'll realize exactly what you're trying to stand against. We understand. You don't need to keep telling us. One month from now, January 31st. We won't forget. Well, I'll be going then. I want to leave you while I'm still in this form. Ryoji-kun! I guess... I'm sorry for all the pain and suffering I put you through. I won't forget that you were my enemy. And my friend. I guess... Thank you. This is probably the last time we'll get to see each other like this, but... I'll always be watching over you. Well... So long, then. Best wishes in the coming year. That's what you say on New Year's Eve, right? See ya. <laughs> that punk. We have one month until January 31st. We'll get through this together.
I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create the persona of the judgment arcana. morning. Oh, and, um, Happy New Year. Yeah, let's make it a good one. Happy New Year to you too, Koro. Oh, man. <sighs> I totally overslept. I stay up all night watching that stupid movie. It was about zombies in Italy or something. Anyone else catch it? Why would I watch something like that? Um, is anyone gonna visit the shrine? I already stopped by enough shrines on my jogs. I'd say I'm covered. Yeah, I'll pass. I don't wanna deal with the New Year's traffic. Oh, that's too bad. Yukari-san and the others are already there. Apparently, Mitsuru-san got kimonos for all of them. Kimonos, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna run to the store. Hold it. Huh? You're going to the shrine? I thought you didn't want to go through the trouble. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just going for a walk. Uh-huh. Well, I don't have anything better to do, so I'll tag along. Oh, I'll go too. Well, look at that. Turns out we all want to go after all. Where is it? directions sweet happy new year let's all give it our best anyhow you guys are late we were just about to leave you can turn what? Happy New Year. Mm -hmm. What's the matter, Iori? Kirijo Senpai, you look amazing. I, I feel like I'm. Oh. What's this feeling? <clears throat> Excuse me. Happy New Year, everyone. I've never worn a kimono before. Um. My obi isn't crooked, is it? Luca... Wow, you look just... Oh. Hey! Come on! This traditional clothing is quite interesting. However, it's difficult to move in. Hi, John. Considering what you usually wear, that looks even more amazing on you! Is that so? What is this odd sensation I feel? Uh, I'm so glad I came. Best new year ever! Junpei-san, why are you acting so strange? 
man. What a beautiful first dream of the new year. Right, Sonata-san? Hmm? Uh, yeah, I guess so. By the way, aren't you guys cold? Yeah, a little. But I think it's kind of helping me wake up. Oh, well, that's not what I meant. Junpei-san said you don't have any other layers. Other layers? <gasps> wow, aren't you just a great role model for Amada-kun? No, 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 wait, wait! Used to seeing the girls dressed like that. Not sure why, but I get a little flustered looking at them. I drew a paper fortune, and it said great luck. I'm sure that means everything will work out for the best. Say that? You don't go making stuff up! Huh? But you said... Wearing something like this on New Year's really makes me feel more put together. Although the sash makes it a little hard to breathe. <sighs> Seriously, Junpei? Of all the dumb things you could say. Anyway, it's nice that we get the chance to go out like this every once in a while. Let's just try to stay positive and chin up. Fuka. I, uh, I wished for a great year. I know it sounds boring, but that's what I really want. That's what I wished for as well. We all wished for the same thing. However, I'm not praying for divine help. There's nothing to worry about. I have the utmost certainty that we can do this. Yeah, I know we can. We should get going. Hello, this is Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey.
No. <laughs> nice one. 